Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do It Yourself, where we fix the things that are broken. Uh, we are going to do an upgrade to my sister's MacBook Pro preparation to send it to someone who might need to use it. So what we have is an old Vostro 1500. We're removing some parts to salvage and uh, put into the MacBook Pro. We have a SSD in there, which is a which is what I used to stream with, and it's gonna the parts are going to go into the MacBook Pro uh, 5.3. It's got a dual core, and when you turn it on, you can hear the CD. We're gonna replace that a CD drive. So this is my sister's. It ran out of space, so I finally got around to doing it uh, before I leave. Left, as she said, she she didn't want the laptop anymore. But um, so I backed up her stuff, did the standard. I did everything through terminal. I wanted to keep this simple. Uh, when I first started doing these do-it-yourself videos, I made it mostly hardware-based, and I, I did ask you guys if you wanted to learn how to do stuff software based, which is most of what I do. Uh, what I went to school for is uh, programming. So I have a degree in computer science, degree in information technology, I have a degree in cybersecurity and artificial intelligence and machine learning. So I, I do have all those things. They were all earned through the military, by the way. Well, for the masters, I, I had to pay a, a little bit out of pocket. But anyway, um, we don't want to talk about loans or anything like that. But so I, I did encounter some issues. This is a MacBook Pro 5.3. It's very old. There's only a certain type of uh, OS you can upgrade up to. I wanted to upgrade the RAM and things on this thing, but you needed the upgraded OS, which is El Capitan. And I had trouble uh, getting it on or detecting uh, in my USB. So I do, uh, I did have a solution. This video was recorded before I, I ended up uh, fixing everything. So I did spend the whole day trying to figure out what, what I was doing wrong. The, the DMG file that you, or the package file that you, you download from the official Mac store. Uh, when you try to put it on a USB disk, it doesn't fully go on. There's a couple more steps you need to do uh, regarding that. Uh, by the way, uh, to be able to upgrade uh, El Cap to El Capitan and you have, let's say, an older version of the Mac, you'll need uh, something a bit newer to be able to run the scripts that are only supported on that newer OS X. So that's the thing. And you saw me change the date too. Uh, if you, there's a thing where you need to put uh, the date back to 2016 before a firmware update that disables the ability to update the, uh, the MacBook Pro. But anyway, I'll, I'll write this all down. If you, I'll probably put it in the blog post, but uh, this is all the time that we have for this episode. On the next episode, we'll actually dive into the hardware and upgrade the memory and the storage. Uh, I'll show you how to add a, a caddy in there. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button to so that you don't miss future videos. Hit the subscribe button or you can join. I do have member only videos and I'll see you in three days. This is John Azadam signing out. Take care, stay safe, and remember, you're essential.